It is with a profound sense of responsibility that I come before you today. The modern state university has sprung from a demand on the part of the people themselves. The people demand that knowledge shall not be the concern of scholars alone. The uplifting of the whole people shall be its final goal. Not long after the University of Alberta welcomed its first class with a view to helping build a new province, a group of Scandinavian settlers farther south founded the Camrose Lutheran College in 1910, driven by those same practical concerns of a burgeoning frontier. They were people who were uh, fiercely egalitarian, not pretentious, people who respected and shared in the work of both the mind and the hands, so very practical people who built things. And I think that's part of the ethos here. This has been a community shaped by both a kind of Norwegian Lutheran piety and a kind of Scandinavian social democracy. For a time, the U of A and Camrose College thrived as beacons of professional training, research and inquiry. But in the 1930s, the Depression threatened the very existence of both. Had it not been for two people on the staff here, Chester Ronnie and Edwin Berg, who offered to keep it open, keep teaching, without any guarantee of pay, the Board of Regents was really struggling with whether or not this institution could continue to operate. Chester Ronning, principal from 1927 to 1942, is perhaps the most impressive figure in the history of Camrose College. Trained at the U of A in education, he was a gifted teacher and singer. But it was his impact as a principled and visionary leader that would be lasting and profound. After leaving Camrose, he would go on to serve as High Commissioner for India and de facto ambassador to China at a time when the West had cut off ties to the communist country. Camrose College did recover from the depression and the turmoil of the war years and began gathering momentum as a first-rate teaching institution, concentrating on the liberal arts and sciences. In 1959, it began offering a first-year transfer program to the U of A and by 1985 became the first private college in Alberta to grant degrees. In 1991, it was renamed the Augustana University College soon basking in the glory of its own bright stars. We are focused on students, and the intention of this education process on this campus is to liberate people, to think broadly, to educate the whole person. And so, stream of consciousness gives you that sense of how life is actually experienced. True to their Norwegian heritage, students at the college have shone in Nordic and other sports and taken to the international stage in choral music. If you think about this, the Scandinavian tradition and the Lutheran tradition, singing is a staple. It's part of the praise, part of, of worship, and uh, it's important in building community. In 2004, a watershed moment for Augustana when it became a faculty of the U of A enjoying the benefits of a world-renowned center of higher learning while retaining the charm and intimacy of a smaller campus. And being part of the University of Alberta has brought uh, uh, needed resources to this uh, campus. It's brought some useful connections that help us to serve the long-term interests of students. Our mission stays the same. We want the students who come here to emerge as leaders, as uh, individuals who are liberated to think freely about all kinds of issues. Today, Augustana remains dedicated to an unsurpassed undergraduate experience in a rural setting. The teachers care who you are. You're not just a number at Augustana. You're actually a person and professors can walk by you in the quad and say, you know, hey, Leslie, how's it going? And, and oh, I have that assignment for you. So it's, you, you're not lost in a sea of people and you're actually an individual here. So you're always trying to figure out where am I going next? What, what can I do with my life? And uh, Augustana is a great place to start. The Augustana experience is still rooted in a rigorous science and liberal arts education, but in recent years the campus has also offered transformative opportunities in outdoor education, international development and community service learning. The experience for students 
can be as transformational out of a 20 hour voluntary or out of a 20 hour service learning commitment in the community as it is in the most intense international experience. It just takes your learning to a whole nother level to be able to interact with the community that you're living in and learn more about it that way. When people talk about your community say oh yeah it's it's a university town, it's a university city. I think that's an honor. I think that's a privilege. And so we, we say to people, if you want to be in a small campus environment, we offer you the best of both worlds. We offer you that environment with the degree that will open doors anywhere in the world. Here's to 100 more years for Augustana.